Hi guys, welcome back, and today it's all about body fat percentage. We're gonna show you a really simple way of doing a four point pinch test. There's a million different ways, so this is just our one that we use most of the time. And John is my volunteer. So the kit you're gonna need is a basic tape measure, some calipers, we're gonna go, where the hell do I get them from? Check. Really, really simple, you can get them really cheap on the internet. And that will also come with your basic measurements table, which you will need. The first thing to remember, if you're ever gonna do a fat test on yourself, or one of your friends, or your family, always pick one side, and then always do the fat test from that side, because basically, from there to there, let alone from there to there, it can vary. So just remember to pick one side. We normally always pick the right hand side. So. You've found your side. There's many different ways to find your reference, but what we normally do is get our person to bend their arm, and all we do is find a nice lumpy point at the back of their arm, down to their elbow, and we measure. And once you've found that point once, you'll always know exactly the same all the time. And I already know without even looking that John's is 17 centimeters, which is halfway down the arm. Your first thing to remember is not to just pinch because he has got a whole lot of tricep going on there. Yeah. But you've got to remember to separate the fat from the muscle. So all you do is pinch. Ain't no fat in there, fool. You pinch, and always remember to go either just a little bit above or a little bit below. I normally go above because it's a hell of a lot easier on your hands. You pinch, ow, squeeze and slightly put away. And as you'll see, it will give you in millimeters exactly what it is. So from your tricep, all you do is go all the way around, drop down about a centimeter to two centimeters, and you do exactly the same. And remember to always pinch long ways on the muscle. So basically for biceps, for instance, never pinch across, always pinch straight down long ways. Or lack on the muscle. of muscle in my case. Lack of muscle on the biceps in John's case. Free meal, free meal. <laughs> Don't know what that bit was, I got a bit excited. To get the point on the back, there's a million different ways. If John just takes his arm behind the back, you can see that his is sub scat. So all, of, all we'll get to get our clients to do is basically that, but bend the arm back, pull the thumb out, because then the scap comes out. And from there, exactly the same angle as this point, we come away, move your hand, one to two inches into the more to the middle of the back, pinch at exactly the same angle as your sub scap. A little bit above. Hate John for this. Hey, sucks. We all collect fat in different areas. Leon tends to hold a little more on his back and a little less on his iliac. I mean, I'm a turtle. The last point we need to find is the sacroiliac. On John, obviously, because his body fat's really low, you can see it quite easily. If not, just have a feel around, and what you should feel is basically like an oval coming up out of the skin, and you want to find a nice angle where it starts to dip in, come across in a straight line across the abdomen, pinch in about an inch away from the bone. Exactly the same angle, slightly put away. Done. Now we've done our four points. Really, really simple now. All you've got to do is add these together, and all you've got to do then is get your book. These are super cheap to get, guys. You can get them really cheap, and it's so easy. Just get a friend to do it with you. And to be honest, as long as the same person does it every time as well, or does it the same way, you're gonna get pretty accurate readings every time. Obviously, there's other ways to do six point tests. You can get, some people do it on the chest, do it on the legs, but this is just a nice easy way to give you an idea. So now we've established eventually that John has 19 millimeters. All you do is, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but you've basically got millimeters, you've got age, and that's the main thing to remember. Depending on your age, your body fat will change. We naturally tend to hold more body fat as we get older. So John is 97 year old man in a 25 year old's body. 19 millimeters, well done my friend. You are 8% body fat. John's 8% body fat. It's all right, isn't it? The reason we want to show you how to take your body fat is because it's not a great idea just to go by the scales. Don't when go you, by the scales, they suck. When you get on the scales, they're gonna weigh your fluid in your body, your organs. If you've had a really salty meal, you're gonna retain more water, so they're not gonna be accurate. Use them in conjunction with other things like how your clothes fit, how you look in the mirror, and body fat tests. You can get an average from all them together. If your body fat's gone down, but you've gone up on the scales, you probably gained muscle and lost fat. So that was our super quick pinch test. We hope you got all the points. It's really, really, really simple. So if there's anything you missed, feel free to chuck a comment in. We'll get back to as many of you as we possibly can. We'll even try and stick a link into where you can buy one of these caliper tests from. And we hope that gets it sold for you. So thanks ever so much for watching. Get pinching, guys, and we will be back next week. Aye. God, I nearly swore then. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs>